An analyzer makes you see what you hear. Or well, not completely. In this video, I will show you what an analyzer is and mostly how you shouldn't use it. There are a few different things we can visualize from audio. And the simplest one is PPM or level, which every DAW nowadays is equipped with. But there are three types of analysis that are more interesting. A spectrum analyzer, a phase scope, and a histogram. So let's go through them one by one and let's start with the spectrum analyzer. So a spectrum analyzer is a lot like a high school math graph with on the horizontal axis the frequency and on the vertical axis the level of the frequency. And one thing to notice with a spectrum analyzer is the precision. So the precision of a spectrum analyzer is determined by the sample size, which is a block of audio of a few milliseconds long. Short sample sizes mean a more responsive analyzer, but less accurate, mostly in the low frequencies. Higher sample sizes will make the analyzer less responsive, but you will get more precision in the low frequencies. And also over the rest of the spectrum, of course. So let's move on to the next one, the phase scope. A phase scope is there to check the correlation of your audio between your two speakers. So you can see the differences of them both. And nobody knows how to read these phase scopes. So the best thing to do is to look at a small bar which is underneath or next to the phase scope, which has a plus one and a minus one on there. And if the indicator is at plus one, then you're good. If it is at minus one, then you will burn in hell. So the last one is the histogram. A histogram is a bit the same as a spectrum analyzer, but it analyzes frequency over time. The opacity of the blob thingies in there determine how loud the frequency is. So you can quickly see what is popping out and what isn't. And some analyzers are even equipped with a function that you can give every element their own color. So for instance, you can give the baseline a total different color from the kick and compare them with each other. I don't know why you should want it, but it looks cool. So. so an analyzer is a really powerful tool to use, but with great power comes great responsibility. And a lot of folks tend to look a bit too much at their sound and forget to listen. My advice is use your ears and use your analyzer as a backup. So if you think there is something wrong, if you think you are hearing something, check it on the analyzer. And if the analyzer agrees with you, then you know for sure that something is wrong. So only use an analyzer when you're uncertain of what you are hearing. If an analyzer would be able to show us exactly what we would be hearing, then we all should be able right now to leave a comment underneath this video with the title of the track I was using for the visuals in this video. Okay, one more thing I wanna add. If you're striving for this result with your analyzer, you're probably better off studying rocket science or something and not audio engineering. Okay, that's it. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there are subjects you want me to talk about. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel over here and check out some of my other videos over here, of course. I wanna thank you for watching and bye bye.